Ah, uh, what to do. So, I pleaded with the school today. I said, um, you know, I don't have to go home. I I'm fine. But, uh, they, they told me to go home. You know, it looks really bad, I think, um, for teachers if a student attacks a teacher and then the teacher goes home like, like a little baby or, or like he's hurt or something. <clears throat> let's, let's make one thing very clear. It didn't hurt at all. The student did a hug throw. It was the strangest thing I've ever um, seen or experienced. He hugged me and then he threw me on the ground with his body pressed on top of me like he really wanted to get close to me it was so it was so unheard of why does he want to hug throw me and it didn't hurt at all it is like if a four-year-old came up and and hit me in the leg or something so insignificant you, you can't hurt me like that because I do exercise every day and I've been doing it for, for many years, and, and I practice martial arts. I, I'm very tough, okay? And I'm very smart. So, so a hug throw is pointless. You're just gonna get yourself in trouble. And, and what kind of person attacks another person who can't hit them back? I can't, I, I can't fight a student. The student can just do whatever he wants to me, and, and I can't do anything. So, you attacked me and you gave me a hug throw and and you didn't hurt me so so what did you accomplish you, you you didn't accomplish anything and um you know the student did this because he's not happy i i, I understand that and i don't know why you guys aren't happy in school i mean school's a fun place but but maybe you just don't realize that that it's fun but but after it's over you you will miss it and, um, you know, I've had such a good and a long life that when you guys call me Shaggy, I don't care. It, it means nothing to me. It's like a bee sting or a fly landing on my finger. You could call me Shaggy as much as you want. It doesn't bother me at all because I know I'm not like him. I'm athletic. I'm a good teacher. I read a lot of books. And Shaggy just hangs out with a dog and... It kind of wastes his time. He's not a good influence for you guys. You guys should be influenced by people like me, not by people that are on the TV or people that are making these music videos or people that are singing these Emmy award winning songs. No, you don't have to look so far. You can just look in the classroom and see me there and say, oh yeah, he's a good influence. He's a good role model. He's a good teacher. So, um, it was very childish today when I'm trying to take attendance and the student um, keeps saying here and I'm not calling his name and it's just wasting my time and my time is very important so don't waste it.